my hypothesis is that anybody who is a student of Shastras right, is by construction scientific according to the modern definition of science. Now, what has happened is that because of you know whatever historical reasons are uh, the, the kind of schooling systems that we have today, our students or uh, younger generation is made non Bharatiyas or made non scientific deliberately. Now, whoever becomes a good student of science no, no matter where is a Bharatiya Shastra Vetra in my opinion. So, now you know it by the you know you using uh, Shastras as a tool itikartha vyata bhinna that is all right. I mean you can have the Bhar Bharatiya tools or some other tool right tooling of science, but the idea of scientific thinking you know what do you call as scientific thinking is the fundamental bedrock of Bharatiya Shastras. Now, let me give you some pointers and examples or why do I think so. Okay. So, now if you look at any Bharatiya Vidyasthana right what does it start with? everything has a sutra prasthana to it right. So, you have the, the Vyakarana sutras, you have uh, the Nyaya sutras, you have Vedanta sutras and all that. In majority of the sutras how does the first sutra look like? The first sutra always have the Jignasa Pada right. You have Athato Dharma Jignasa, Athato Brahma Jignasa right and there is this Jignasa Pada. Jignasa Shabdasya Vicharesh Lakshana Ityuchade Shastreshu. So, so, it starts with enquiry. So, you look at how Shastras are constructed, they start with enquiry. Now, anybody who has this methodology of starting anything with a solid enquiry backed with an epistemological system is Bharatiya. What is actually happening is we are making people non-Bharatiya by stopping them enquire. 